Hi everyone, this video is about chapter 35 lesson 4 which is on immune system disorders from pages 124 or 1024 to 1025 only. Our objective is to explain what happens when the immune system overreacts to harmless pathogens. A healthy immune system accurately distinguishes itself from other and responds appropriately to dangerous invaders in the body. Sometimes, however, the immune system attacks the wrong targets. Other times, the immune system itself is disabled by diseases. So what happens in these cases? And how can misguided immune responses cause problems? So all these questions, we will try to answer them. So let's start. When the immune system attacks the body's own cells, it produces an autoimmune diseases or disease. The, the immune systems of some people overreact to harmless antigens such as pollen, dust, mites, mold, and pet dander. A strong immune response to harmless antigens can produce allergies, asthma, and autoimmune disease. So let's start with allergies. Anti -an or antigens that cause allergic reactions are called allergens, like pet dander, dead skin shed from cats and dogs are common allergens. You can also see there the types of allergens and the figure through skin contact when ingested, when injected, and when inhaled. When allergens enter the body of people affected by allergies, they, they trigger an inflammatory response by causing mast cells to release histamines. You know already what are histamines. These were molecules that causes inflammation. If this response occurs in the respiratory system, it increases mucus production and causes sneezing, watery eyes, runny nose, and other irritations. Drugs called antihistamines help also relieve allergy symptoms by counteracting the effect of histamines. Allergic reactions in the respiratory system can create also dangerous condition called asthma. So let's move on now to asthma. It is a chronic disease in which air passages narrow, causing wheezing, coughing, and difficulty of breathing. Both hereditary and environmental factors influence asthma symptoms. Asthma attacks can be triggered by respiratory infections, exercises, emotional stress, and certain medication. Other triggers also or trigger include cold or dry air, pollen, dust, tobacco smoke, pollution, molds, and pet dander. So you can see that in the figure the signs and the symptoms of asthma and from where also we can get these asthma or the causes of asthma at the bottom of the figure. Severe asthma can lead to the permanent damage or destruction of lung tissue treatment if treatment is not started early enough or if medications are not taken properly. There is no cure, but people with asthma can sometimes control the condition. If the attacks are caused by an allergen, tests can identify which allergens cause the problem. Inhaled medication, medications can also relax smooth muscles around the airway and relieve asthma symptoms. So you have there in the figure the medications and some inhalers, which can relieve asthma symptoms. Sometimes a disease occurs in which the immune system fails to properly recognize self and attacks cells or compounds in the body as though they were problems. When the immune system attacks the body's own cells, it produces an autoimmune disease.
So examples of autoimmune diseases are type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, and lupus. In type 1 diabetes, antibodies attack insulin, producing cells in the pancreas. In rheumatoid arthritis, you can see at the bottom of the picture, from the right, second to the right, rheumatoid arthritis. Antibodies attack connective tissues around the joints, while lupus is an autoimmune disease in which antibodies attack organs and tissues leading to areas of chronic inflammation throughout the body. Some autoimmune diseases can be treated with medications that alleviate specific symptoms. For example, people with type 1 diabetes can take insulin. Other autoimmune diseases are treated with medications that suppress the immune response. However, these medications also decrease the normal immune response and must be monitored. So that's it for this lesson up to page 1025 only. So let us summarize what I have discussed. When the immune system misfires. Sometimes the immune system overreacts to otherwise harmless antigens. Three types of disorders are caused in this way. The most common immune system disorders are allergies, which, which occur when, when antigens enter the body and, some, and bind to mast cells. The mast cells release histamines, which increase the flow of blood and fluids to the area. These causes allergy symptoms. Allergic reactions in the respiratory system can cause asthma, a dangerous chronic disease in which the air passage is narrow and breathing becomes difficult. When the immune system makes a mistake and attacks the body's own cells, an autoimmune disease results. Autoimmune disease includes type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, and lupus. So let's answer some lesson check questions. What happens during an allergy attack? During an allergy attack, the immune system goes through an inflammatory response against a harmless antigen. Next question. What happens in an autoimmune disease? In an autoimmune disease, the immune system attacks the body's own cells. So thank you girls for watching. Have a nice day.